Hi kids. I'm going to read you a story today that I really enjoy, and I don't know if you know this story or not. It's called All the Colors of the Earth, and it was written and illustrated by Sheila Hamanaka. So she painted the paintings. So let's first of all think about this a minute. What do you suppose this book is about? Let's read the title again, All the Colors of the Earth. What do you see on the cover? The picture matches the words. Okay. Now this is a title page and there's something really special about this one. Do you notice how we have a beautiful illustration of two children? I really like it. They look pretty happy and see, they're holding something. And look, there's a dog. Now let's look closely at the words here. They're not written in a straight line, are they? So it kind of makes the story come alive more for me. I really like that. So these words are to Susie and Kayo and all the other children of the earth. This was written for all the children. So it was written for you. This, this book was written for you. Now I'm gonna suggest that you remember where the stop button is on the video so that you can stop on each page and read the words that you can. And if there's some words that you're struggling to read or not quite as easy as others, you can ask for help from your parents, okay? Children come in all the colors of the earth. Now, can you read back some of those words? Can you read them all? Let's read them together. Children come in all the colors of the earth. Children come in all the colors of the earth. This is the way you learn to read. That's one way. Now let's look at this picture. And again, you can stop the video if you want to read the words. So we see the color of this child's skin is very much like the color of this bear, isn't it? And the color of this eagle is very much like the color of the skin of this child. The roaring browns of bears and soaring eagles. And again, you can stop the video and read those words yourself. Let's read them together again. Can you see? The roaring browns of bears and soaring eagles. Soaring means flying with their wings flapped out straight, not flapping quickly, but slowly moving. Can you read some of those words or all of them? The whispering golds of late summer grasses. So you see the grasses match the color of this boy's skin. And crackling russets of fallen leaves. So what do you suppose russets means? It means the colors that you see here, the oranges and the browns. The tinkling pinks of tiny seashells by the rumbling sea. Are those kids really pink? Probably not pink, but light brown, right? Children come with hair like bouncy baby lambs. Now, why do you suppose the author decided to say that hair is like bouncy baby lambs. Do you know what sheep's and lambs hair looks like? They're wool. Or hair that flows like water. 
Let's read that again. Or hair, can you see? Or hair that flows like water. What does your hair do when you're floating in the water? Or hair that curls like sleeping cats in snoozy cat colors. So let's take a look at this cat. We have these reddish browns, her hair, dark browns, look at her hair. Let's read this again. Or hair that curls like sleeping cats. You know this word in snoozy cat colors. The next time you watch this video, you can read more with me because you'll be able to read more of it. Children come in all the colors of love. Look at all those kids and look at all their colors. In endless shades of you and me. in endless shades of you and me. You can stop and take a look at your skin and look at whose skin matches your skin. Whose skin is very different from your skin. I love this page. I love them all. For love comes in cinnamon, walnut, and wheat. So this here is a color of cinnamon, and so is the skin. And walnut, this is the color of walnut, it's darker brown and wheat, a lighter shade of brown. Yeah. Oh, I love this one. Let's see if I can get my fingers out of the way for you. Love is amber and ivory and ginger and sweet. So amber is dark brown, and ivory is really light, and ginger is in between. Again, you can stop the video and read whatever you can read. Like caramel and chocolate, and the honey of bees. So this man's, this dad's skin reminds me of chocolate and caramel and honey of bees. Which one would be like bee honey? Again, stop the video if you'd like. Dark as leopard spots, light as sand. Can you find the leopard? Yeah? Right, right up there in the tree. And there's the sand. So her skin is dark like leopard spots, and her skin is more like sand colored. Oh, I love this. Look at all those happy kids together. Children buzz with laughter that kisses our land. With sunlight like butterflies, happy and free. Free and free. Let's read that again. Children buzz with laughter that kisses our land with sunlight like butterflies, happy and free. Children come in all the colors of the earth and sky and sea. And that is what this book is about. The last page really tells you. 
So let's stop and think about this a minute. What do you like about this book? What does this book remind you of? What it reminds me of is to really understand how special everybody's skin color is and how really important and special everybody is, just like you. Thank you so much for reading this story with me, and I will talk to you and read to you soon.